Hi guys, Kathy here, and today we're going to be doing soap cakes. It's been a long time since I've done soap cakes before, and uh, or since I've done soap cakes, period. Um, so today we're going to be using three different size molds, and we're going to be doing piping on the top, and these are inspired by the new sprinkles that I bought. There's lots of great people out there that make sprinkles and uh, this is one of the ones that I follow on Instagram. They're called Sweeta Polita and they're in Canada and I, I bought a couple different kinds of their sprinkles. Um, this one is Circus Cookie and it's a bunch of pinks and there's some little blue dots in there and white and, and it's really cute. That one I'll probably use mostly for baking. Uh, this one is the one I'm using today though. And these are gonna be like a birthday cake type theme. And this one is the Pretty as a Peach blend. Let me get up close here so you can see just how gorgeous these are. Look at all these pretty gold rods in here. Now they are not approved by uh, the United States uh, Food and Drug for consumption. They are uh, only for decoration. Oh, there go my dogs. I think they're yeah, barking at people walking. It's just a terrible thing. Anyway, they're not, not approved for consumption down here in the States, just for decoration. So I figure, what better way to use them than on a birthday cake soap? Uh, I will tell you, however, I did sample these little balls. Oh my God, they're so tasty. So if you do want to use them for baking, Go ahead and use them, but I wouldn't eat the gold ones. Plus, I tried one, and they are very hard. So if you have teeth that are prone to chipping, I probably wouldn't eat those. Anyway, that's what we're going to decorate the top with, uh, along with uh, glitter, of course. And I got these. These are Wilton um, birthday candles, and they're gold. So we're going to put one of those uh, here and there around on the soap cakes. So anyway, and a little drizzle of gold, I and mean, hopefully they turn out really pretty. Most of this will be white. Um, I am color coordinating, kind of, with the sprinkles. I'm going to do a little bit of a swirl, hopefully with some pink, and I've got some orange. And so I'm going to fragrance this in orange peel Sibilla. So. We'll get started here, mixing our lion, and then I'm gonna divide it off for my little swirl colors. It's a pretty nice day here today. Uh, I say pretty nice, it's probably, maybe it's warmer where you're at, but we're, we're around 40 degrees. The snow is pretty much gone for now, although it's supposed to snow again. And uh, anyway, it's nice, it's not bad. But I wanted to get these cakes made. I've just been antsy ever since I decided I was gonna buy some of those sprinkles. This is what I've wanted to do, so. They have a fantastic Instagram page, Sweeta Polita. Showing lots of different baked goods, using their sprinkles. So they're a really fun page to follow. It almost makes me want to make my own sprinkles, but I think that would be really labor intensive. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, we'll just stick to making soap. Not that soap's not labor intensive, mind you. Okay, so I'm gonna pour just a little bit of this off. Like I said, I want most of it to be um, to be white. So finger off here. I don't know if I'll have to add more pink in this. We'll find out. 
Let me see. Let me scrape this just to get every last bit in here. And orange in here. Just for my swirl colors. And a little bit of fragrance, just a little in each of those. And pour the rest in here with our titanium dioxide. And we'll blend that up first. <sighs> And I'm going to do piping on top in the white as well. Knock it off, you guys, really. Shush, 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 shush. Never fails. Bandit! Smokey! Hey! Enough! Okay. So let's see, we'll stick it in here. which has a little bit of orange now. That's pink enough. Pink enough for now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some white into each of my molds first. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Start with our little little one and go up. Okay. And then We'll drizzle some of this around. There. And there. Whoop. Come on. Not the neatest. This will be like a single serving of cake here. Well, that's just not the neatest there. And then, can I get pink? Can I get pink? Can I get some more pink? Pink. And pink. And pink. We'll do some more over here. And white on the top here, just a bit to go around. And I'm probably in your way, aren't I? I apologize. And just a little here because I need to have some here left over for piping, which I don't have a lot, but anyway, I'm just gonna level that out. And 
on the top. I'm going to try and kind of get this to pour around in a circle if I can or somewhat of a circle or spiral. How about a spiral? Okay, there's that. I'm not doing it on the edge because I'm going to have piping on the edge. And this one, this little one, I'm probably just going to do orange all over the top on this one. And tamp it down. Tamp. Can't really lift that one because that one's really wobbly. Anyway, we'll get some a little bit of pink going on here as well. Just use up the last little bits. Just a little bit there. And the last little bit here. There. Not the neatest. And I'm going to grab a skewer. And we're going to kind of give it a little little design. That one you can't really tell. Back and forth. You'll see it in the center. I always get quiet I apologize but I just want to make a pretty a pretty little design so there's that and tidy up here a little bit There we go. And like I said, the rest of this white, I will let thicken up and we will, uh, we will use that for our piping around the top. Um, this one, we'll just get one dollop in the center. Gotta have glitter, right? Love, it's a party on the top. Gotta have a glitter. Okay, so that's really pretty. So we'll, let me see. I wonder if we can just do some little droplets here and there. We'll just sprinkle some gold. little drops oops that one's let me swirl that one this one's kind of come on Ooh, there we go good enough so We'll take a few minute break here and we'll let this thicken up and uh, then we'll be ready to pipe on the top and put our sprinkles on and it's going to be just gorgeous, darling. So give me a second. We'll be right back. Okay, I think I think I'm ready to pipe. Um, I just want to get this done here. I'm hoping I have enough soap here to do my little 
my little dollops that I want to do. I think I do. Um, I took my gloves off just so I can handle my sprinkles and everything. I'm hoping I don't get soap on my hands here. Don't yell at me, okay? I should have my gloves on. Don't do like I'm doing. So, anyway. This, I have to tell you, I love this orange peel Sibilla fragrance from Brambleberry. It is so fresh and orangey and it lasts. I've made soap and shampoo bars out of it in the past and it's fantastic. Um, so if you ever get a chance to, I, I recommend, I do recommend it. So I just tied off my bag a little because I didn't want any coming out before I was ready. So we'll give a little dollop here. And what I did was I went and put little balls where each of my slices are going to be so I know kind of where to put my dollops. So we're going to do that. So we're going to get four slices out of that one and six out of the large. And I have plenty of soap left. I'm just going to kind of go between with a couple little dollops here. And maybe a little one on each. There. Um, don't want to make a mess here. Try and see what else can we do here. I'm just trying to use up all of my soap. And we'll just build this one up a little more here. Okay. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit more sprinkles or glitter first before the sprinkles. Just more of a party on the top, right? My new saying, going to have a party on the top. Just because I just love glitter. And this is a birthday soap. So there's that. Now we're going to do our, our little sprinkles. And I added some of the uh, circus cookie. Yeah. Uh, in with my pretty as a peach. So we're just going to kind of drop these on, on. And see what lands where first. And I want to kind of get a, make sure we get some gold bars on every slice. Because those are gorgeous. I do love these gold bars. Get a couple of them. Oops, just kind of. And one, two. So I'm going to try and hit the edge here. I don't want these bouncing all over my counter. I just want it to look like fun birthday cake, which I think it does. A little bit here. And then we'll do this one. 
around the edge. Oops, kind of dumped on that one. That's okay. Because some of these are going to fall off, right? You know they will. I just want to get a couple more bars. There's a bar. That one. And that's got a bar. Okay, so I think we're good there. And I'm going to give it a little drizzle of gold mica on the white. Just, just to hit it with a little extra something something. Right? I'm going to get these. Oh, these look like such a party. And just a little bit here. This is just a little bit of gold mica and some sweet almond oil. So now for the pièce de résistance, we are going to add our little candles. And what's nice about these is they have a little plastic base. So I'm just going to go in as far as that base so there's our single and on this one's gonna get four one two three and four very cutesy should be interesting when I go to unmold these I just thought about that but anyway hopefully they don't fall out so there's one this one will have six. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, and it smells so good. And just, they're just adorable. There's a little runaway sprinkle. We'll toss these back on. Oh, there's a little pink circle. And they're just too, too cute. Let's see. Let me put a little pink ball here. I try and get, so we have these little balls here and there on the cake slice. And I think, I think we're going to be good here. Well, that one needs a little pink ball. They keep thinking, we're good, we're good. Well, no, we need a little extra here. There's a pink one. Um, we'll put another pink one there, and a big white one. Uh, a little pink one. And that one doesn't have any, see? It's a good thing I'm doing this. There we go. I think we're getting there. Oops, put that there. And let's get some here. And Another big white one right there. Okay, I think we're good. There we go. So we'll bring you by for a flyby. Down and around we go. I oh, like that. Isn't that fancy? I can't wait to cut into this. This one we're not going to cut into. It's going to remain whole because it's just a little one. You see by my hand? That's just a little one. And then this one will cut into four slices. So love the sprinkles. Again, they are from Sweeta Polita. Very cute. This one I'm strictly used for baking because... Uh, you can eat all of these without harming your teeth. <laughs> and this one, I mean, you can use it for baking, but I would not eat the gold rods. So 
Like I said, they're not approved, but look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I'll show you in the bowl. They're just the most gorgeous. Look at that. Shiny, sparkly. Love them, love them, love them. So anyway, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll cut our cake slices. So we'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back and ready to cut these. I've taken them out of the molds. Um, also, this one I took out first and it wasn't quite ready to come out of the mold yet. So it kind of messed on the bottom. So I trimmed the bottom, but it, it looks too adorable. And they smell fantastic, you guys. I can't, I can't tell you how good they smell. Um, so I'm going to cut these. I'm trying to decide if it doesn't matter which knife I use because they're all about the same length. Uh, so anyway, let me set this one here. We'll do this small one first and we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'm going to try and go even this way or this way. I think I'll go this way first between these. I have uh, these little balls in the way as well. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about using these big sprinkles and balls is, is uh, they fall off and they get in the way. Pretty, whoops. See a whole bunch fell off there. Anyway, very cute. So get some of these out of the way. And they're falling on the floor, which I'm sure my dogs wouldn't mind except for the, the soap. <laughs> so anyway, yes, my husband just went off to work. I already talked to my mother on the phone. And the mailman already went by. So hopefully we'll have no interruptions while we're cutting these. So I'm just trying to get these a bit even here. Too, too pretty. A little soft on the inside still. But look at, isn't that beautiful? They're color coordinated with the sprinkles. Too pretty. So pretty. Move aside, sprinkles. So let's see. I'll try and get that sprinkle over so I don't cut through the middle of it. I hear my dog scratching on the couch. Bandit, quit scratching. The pretty orange and pink. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the swirl. Oh, some of these little sprinkles I'm going to have to push back onto the soap here. Yeah, like so. Let's see. This little gold one. We'll just tuck it right there, but just too cute. And now we'll do, we'll attempt to do the big one, the big one right here. Okay. So I'm trying to do this with the tripod kind of close here. So there's that. Excuse me, I'm going to shift you around here. Just almost a little in my way there. Okay. And there is our pie. Pie cake slice, isn't that beautiful? 
it turned out gorgeous with our little candle on the top and our sprinkles too pretty and I still have sprinkles falling on the floor <laughs> anyway just gorgeous I gotta take some good pictures of these and uh, Oh, just too pretty. So there's that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those sprinkles. Those sweet Apolita sprinkles. They just did it, you know? And the colors match them. So, I'm going to finish this. Uh, I'm going to take some final pictures of everything and leave this kind of intact for my pictures, but you get the drift. Uh, so we've got our little, our little cake slices there and our pie slices here. I'll bring you around for a flyby. A close-up flyby. Isn't that beautiful? Too, too gorgeous. There's our cake slices, or our pie slices, I guess. Too pretty. They turned out gorgeous. I love them. They smell fantastic. I love the sprinkles. So anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And hit subscribe if you're not already, if you'd like to see more. Until next time, catch us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dirty Booty Soaps. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. So, happy birthday. <laughs> Bye for now.